Hey guys, how's it going? It's Delmar again and welcome back today to my channel. So thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below so you can get notified of new videos and also I can bring you a lot more content. So the one thing that I want to do today is I want to continue the video on AR foundation with body tracking. We did the part one of my previous video where we started capturing the positions of our hands and also the position of our spine. So what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at some of the limits, like I said in the previous video, and we're going to determine at what point do we need to spawn a particle. So let's go ahead and work on that. And then by the end of the video, you should have the source code available in GitHub if you want to try it yourself. And then I'm also going to make it available in Patreon if you want to check it out there as well. All right, guys, let's go into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing. And before jumping into Unity, and it's starting to code, I think we need to look at the mock-up that I created from the previous video. And also just explain to you what I what I want to do to be able to do this. So if we look at the, the information on the right, we can see that we have, you know, spine four, we can see the world position. We can also look at the right hand, we can look at the world position, and then also the left hand because we're tracking three different bones. So if we look at it now, and in fact, if I go back, something about, something around this area, if you look at the value of spine four, so spine four, it's gonna have, it's gonna be at negative 0.5. So that's gonna be one of our limits. That's where it's currently located. If it was, if I was jumping or if I was, you know, somehow bending my body, then that value it's gonna change. But I think for the most part, we can, we can bet that negative 0.5. It's going to be, it's going to be a good number. In fact, if I keep moving around, you can kind of see that, you know, the negative that that value stays, it stays in place. And unless I'm, I'm moving around and, but, but for the most part, I think negative 0.5 should be fine. So what I want to do is I want to determine, and, and let me do some drawings in here so that it makes more sense. So right now what I'm doing is I'm tracking this, right? And I'm going to say we're tracking this. I'm just going to add T. We're also tracking this. So I'm also going to add a T. We're also tracking this. And, and I'm actually, let me go ahead and undo that. And then so we're tracking the position of this, we're tracking the position of this, which is left and right hand, or right hand and left hand, and also our spine. So right now we have the X, Y, and Z values at any, at any time. We have the local values and we also have the world position. So what I wanna do is, let's say that this, that we, our hand is right here. If we look at the value of the right hand, which is gonna be right here, right now it's sitting at negative 0, negative 0.7. So if we put that, we plug that value here, we can just say that right hand, and I'm gonna make this a lot smaller. So we can just say the right hand, we can just say at, at a rest position, a rest is, is negative 0 0.7. Okay, so that's what the value of the right hand, and we can assume that it's the same, the same for the left hand. So at a rest position, that's what that's gonna be. And then if we look at the spine right now at a rest position, we can just say a spine four. I'll just delete this and I'm just gonna say spine four at rest and we can look at the value right now. It's at negative 0 0.5. So we can just plug that here. And I think that I think that's good. And then I'll just, okay, so so far we have right hand at negative 0 0.7 spine is uh is this is gonna be the the position on average could be negative 0 0.6 it's gonna be you know a little less a little more but i think that's i think that's a good number to start and then the value that i want to look at so if you look at my right hand we we determined that it was uh this value so let's say that my in this case my left hand it's going to be i'm just gonna put it right here even though it's it's actually this one right here so it's gonna be this and then let me do this i think i'm gonna do the, I'm just gonna plug him in so it makes more sense to you. So my my right hand right now is, is sitting at that point. The left hand in this case, I'm trying to map it to the position in here, not the drawing, but you can see that my left hand at this position, it's currently set at a zero value. So we can just say, okay, my my left hand is a zero because I'm, I'm basically lifting, I'm raising my hand. So, so with these numbers, we could do some really cool things. We can say, okay, so if the number of my left hand or the number of my right hand, it's above the spine four, then I can assume that I can spawn a particle. 
and in fact if we look at if I keep going forward if right about okay right about here you can see the spine and my left hand are kind of like at the same level so spine is negative 0 0.5 and then if we look at the the left hand and we're gonna be uh, fixing this because it's really, really hard to see so you can see that it's it's a little bit lower than the the than the spine so this number actually is greater because it's, it's negative 0 0.5 but if I keep going down right about here and we look at the left hand now we now it's greater because we're going it's actually going on a negative position so this number right here it's going to it's not going to be above this number so that means that I'm not going to be spawning a particle so I'm only going to do it when we are beyond negative 0 0.5 and if we're beyond that point then we can spawn a particle I'm not going to add limits on the top just yet but we can start with something simple like this and then and then build on it. All right, so now that we, we you get an idea of what I want to do, let's go ahead and jump back into Unity. And I'm going to do some fixes on the on the lay, on the the formatting of positions because, it's, like I said, it's really hard to see things. I'm just going to do new lines on all of these things so that we can see the values better. And I'm also going to do the same thing on, I thought I was doing it at the very, at the very beginning. So I'm only doing it on, let's see, when we're adding a body and also when we are updating a body. Okay, so I think we're good. So so what I want to do is I want to find out, okay, so if we're dealing with the, if we're dealing with the spine, I want to do, you know, I want to I wanna do a check. And if we're doing dealing with the left or right hand, I, I also want to do a check. So for now, I can just use a lambda and get those values. And then, you know, once I get those values, we can we can do the logical expression to check to make sure that we are beyond a certain threshold so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to i'm going to add a new method so let's go ahead and go back down here and then i'm just going to do private and then we can just say void apply let's see right now we can just do, do it let's just do it as a boolean and then we can just say are we beyond limits for powers, superpowers. I know it's verbose, but it, it makes sense if I if I think about it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, I actually don't need this being passed in, but let's go ahead and pass it in because I wanna make sure that I have the latest. So I'm gonna say bones, bones, we can just do that. Okay, so this array, it's going to contain multiple basically it's going to contain multiple bones that i'm tracking so remember that i'm tracking and i'm doing this for me as well just to make sure that i have everything so i'm tracking the left hand i'm tracking the right hand and i'm also tracking spine four spine four so if we look at the if we look at the video you can see that i'm tracking spine four i'm also tracking the right hand and i'm also tracking the left hand so i can assume that that's what that's what's going to be in this basically in this array so one of the things that I could do is we could say something like we can we can either add a dictionary if we wanted to do that instead of using instead of using this I think I think for I think for now this is fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say bone tracker and then I'm gonna get the left hand bone and then we can just say bones where and then be be that. And if you remember, the in order for me to get the parent, the name of that bone, I need to access the transform. So I'm gonna say bones. First, I need to do I need to access the game object, and then I'm gonna do transform, and I need to access the parent, and then also the name. And we can just say left hand. So this is going to give me, it's going to basically give me that bone that I'm tracking. Now, if I need to do what I need to do is right hand bone. And I'm also I also need to do the spine. So I'm just gonna call it spine just to keep it simple. But remember that it was a spine four, so make sure that we say a spine four. And okay, we can just say I think this is very verbose. I'm like I want to change it, but okay, that's fine. We can we can leave it like that. Okay, so this is gonna be left hand, this one is gonna be right hand. And excellent. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, just to make sure that we we don't break this, I'm gonna say okay if left hand bone is null, or the right hand bone equal equal null, or or spine is null, 
then I'm not going to do anything. I just want to make sure that I have everything, every bone being tracked before, before I do this. So I'm just going to say false, just because those need to be set before I can do anything. Otherwise, we're going to do, we're just going to do some checks. So now I can remove these comments. All right, so now that we have that information and we have the game objects that I need to deal with, with the bone trackers, now we can we can go back into our limits. So if you remember the limits that we decided that spine 4 was going to be, so spine 4 was going to be at negative 0.5, where we're going to be checking if, if the value of the left hand or right hand is beyond that. So so right now this this is doesn't this doesn't really help me to to find out you know at what point we we spawn a particle right now all I know is like the left hand it's gonna have a position at a certain point this one is gonna have a position and this one is gonna have a position but I don't know which one it's going to be it's going to be so if I do a boolean right now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna look at the position of the spine and I'm gonna say okay if the right hand position above the spine on the y axis if it is then a spawn a particle. I, I think we can start with that, but at some point I need to determine, okay, is it the right hand? Is it the left hand? That way I know where to spawn, spawn the particle from. And, and thinking about this, we could, we could change it. I'll, I'll change it in just a bit. So for now, we're just going to say, okay, now that, I, now that I have the information that I need, I'm going to get the position of the spine. So remember that I need to deal with the, with not the local position, but the actual workspace position that I was that I was telling you about, because local position is gonna be a zero zero zero. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove local position because it's really not buying us anything. It's not helping us at all. It's just probably more more data that we don't even need to look at. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I need to get the, the game object, I need to get the transform, and then I need to get the position. And the position that I wanna check is that I wanna check the position of Y on this value. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with the with the left hand. So we're gonna say, okay, so if the position of this, and then we can just get the, the actually we don't need to do game object here, we can just say transform. And then we can just say position of y is greater than the position of y of the spine, then we know that we can spawn a particle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the basically with the right hand. Excellent. And then, so what I'm going to do, just thinking about this is, is right now this is just going to return a Boolean. Let's go ahead and just call this one, let's just do a void. And then we can just say apply powers. And then, and then we don't need to return, we're just going to return here. And maybe we'll just say debug. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm just, I'm just going with my instinct. <laughs> like I said, I, this wasn't prepared, but I think it's going to work. So we can say we can say bones were not bones track were not initialized or were not found. We can just say not found. Okay, so that's gonna be our error. And then otherwise, if we are within the limits here, we can we know that at this point I can spawn a particle. So I can just say spawn particle on on the left hand. Now we can do the same thing on this one. Spawn particle on the on the right hand excellent so what i'm going to do first before we go in and start working on the spawning of particle implementation i'm going to just be logging this and we're going to look at the log before i work on that piece and we're going to say in here we're just going to say left hand bone is above a spine and let's just make sure that we this is just clean if we do capitals there is above a span and then we can do the same thing with this guy and i think that i think that works is above spine and then this one is going to be right that way i can test it and okay excellent so what i'm going to do is remember i'm doing i'm initializing this right here and this is when the body gets added initially and we probably should be checking both, but I'm gonna only check it when we're making changes to, basically when we're getting updates on positions from our hands or body. So I'm gonna do it right over here where we are getting updates from the body. And then I'm just gonna pass in bones, bones trackers. I'm, I'm now thinking that this probably should be like bones track, but I think that's fine. 
So, so what's going to happen here is we're going to be detecting if we are beyond the limits before we can spawn a particle. Particle, and we can just say that this is basically superpowers. They're really particles, but I want to call them superpowers too. And okay, so this is good, and we're applying superpowers. We're going to come down here, and what I'm going to do here as well is let's make this a string and this is going to be error and we're just going to put this in a string and then we can just reuse this error here and also we can just use it here all right i think that it's good let's go ahead and put this one below because i want to see it before it errors out and let me just double check some of the variable names again so this is going to be game object transform parent that name and we don't need to do we don't need to do this because the transform is available in b and in fact we can just change this one as well we can change this one as well this one and this one that way it's just less verbose all right so i think i think i got everything that we everything that we need and okay so i think i'm happy Make sure B transform the parent that name. It's going to be that. This is going to be right hand. It's fine for okay. So and left. Okay, so that looks good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is let's go back into Unity, and I'm going to also be changing the size. I told you that on the previous video. Let's change the size of the login text because it's really hard to see. I'm going to go into 2D, and I'm just going to make it a little bigger. So it's easier for us. Let's do about. Let's go ahead and do 40. 40 works and then we can just make this one bigger too this one could be like 60 all right so i think that works and we're centering aligning everything i think that's fine all right so i think we're good so now what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into build settings and this is the same scene that i showed you previously it just has more features and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and build it and then go ahead and put it in the desktop we're going to be well, in my case, I'm going to put it in the desktop and then I'm going to be appending to and replacing. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. And, and now that I'm thinking this video is getting very long, I'm going to be this, doing the spawning of particles on the following video. So we're going to do actually three parts. Part one being the previous video, part two being this video. And then the last part is just going to be a spawning of particles, which is going to be just, you know, just like we do. We have done particles in the past. And, and then once we're going through those three, I think we should have all the three videos that we need. So let's go ahead and get this build and then I'm gonna show you how it looks on my device as soon as the build process is completed. All right guys, so I got this running on my device and also a video that I'm showing. We also clean up some of the debugging areas so that we could see the positions, the world positions of the bone parts that we're tracking. We can now see that, you know, Spine 4 is at negative 0.5, just like we said from our mockup that we're going to be using for limits and also if you look at the right hand position this one is negative points negative 0 0.7 negative 0 0.7 here and we decided like if we were going to be at a, above this position then we we're going to be spawning a particle for this video i'm only going to look at the limits and i only did the limits and you can see that as i as i get above the, the spine so right now if we look at the value of spine 4 is negative 0.5 but my right hand is is above that value, which means that I'm that I'm basically above the spines, and that's what this is saying. Is like we're above the spine. Also, this right here is getting cut off, but it's actually saying left hand is also above the spine. So they're both at the same value, which means that they're above this. So I know that I need to spawn particles. And then if we go down, so right about here, we're not above. These two numbers are greater, so we're not showing those values. But as soon as I raise my hands, that means that I'm going to have superpowers. I'm going to be spawning particles. We have the logic checks in place now to do that. And everything is just working. So I'm just going to play it so you can see how things are changing as I, as I move around. And our logic is working. So the, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm also going to go back here and also clean this up. Because it's, it's really hard to see right now. I'm just going to do that. That way, these two will be in, you know, in their own line. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. 
also developers, and also an amazing community. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.